So Venom tells the story of Eddie Brock as he is attached to a symbiote, an alien life form from another planet as they're trying to stop another alien known as Riot before he brings back millions of his kind to wipe out Earth. My thoughts on this movie? It's not a great movie by any means, but it's definitely better than what critics have made it out to be. One of the good things about this movie is Tom Hardy. Tom Hardy does an amazing performance. He, thing is, Tom Hardy went all out. When he goes all out, he's a really great actor. And in this movie, he went all out, and it shows, and it's amazing. Some scenes in particular are just a bit too silly. It's just not something I go see just when I see a superhero anti-movie thing. Especially the scene in the restaurant where he's going crazy because Venom keeps taking over because of all the food there. And yeah, eventually he gets into a lobster tank. It's really weird and I didn't really like that scene that much. Let's get into something else I like about this movie. The interaction between Venom and Eddie, I thought that was the best part about the movie. It's like a buddy cop type deal, or Jekyll and Hyde some people might compare it to. It's just a really fun, entertaining way for the movie. And I uh, enjoyed every minute of it. Let's get into the reason why most people didn't really like the idea of a Venom solo movie is because Spider-Man wasn't going to be in it. They confirmed before it started production that Spider-Man was not part of this movie. The reason why people hated that is because Spider-Man is the reason Venom is here. He was in space, I forgot the name of the comic, but he finds the symbiote and gets a new suit because his is all torn up, brings it back to Earth. The reason why he got rid of it is because it's starting to change him. So, yeah, he got rid of it in the bell tower and get, he gets to Eddie Brock. And the reason why Eddie Brock was there is because he was mad at Peter Parker. And so the two worked together in order to kill Peter Parker, a.k.a. Spider-Man. So the reason why Venom even exists is because of Spider-Man. That's why some people weren't really too keen on this movie because, yeah. But I thought what they did was pretty okay because that's basically the only way they were going to get Venom in this movie is through a rocket ship that they were on when, oh yeah, we found them. But no, they found us somehow, I don't know. Let's get into some of the climates that annoyed me. In the climax, Venom changed his motive and decides to stay and not eat all humankind. His motive is that Eddie made him change his mind, but nowhere in the movie did it actually show that. I haven't seen any evidence of Eddie actually making Venom change his mind. So, I mean, honestly, I like the Venom versus Riot boss fight. I'm calling Boss Fight because that's basically what it was. It was pretty good. I like how, since they're all like slime, the basically just like a slimy, slimy organism, that it gets it. They start to fall apart, and it's this slimy little boss fight. I actually like that. It was pretty creative. Here's the, some of the clip right here. <laughs> Other than that, this movie is pretty good. There's not many main cringy lines. Like a turd. And we no! No. No, no, no. Get out of here. It was a really enjoyable movie for me. Up until that. Thing is, one thing I don't like about this movie is because since I'm a huge comic book reader sometimes, I know for a fact the reason why they call the, Eddie and the symbiote call themselves Venom is because they consider themselves poison to Spider-Man. That was a direct quote from the comics. This movie, the symbiote is just straight up called Venom. And so he just allows him and Eddie to be called, say, We are Venom. I was like, okay, come on, you can do something better than that. To be like, we are poison to like the scum in this city and all scum around the world, and we are venom. Something like that. I don't like him being called straight up venom. It just annoys me just that much. The ride symbiote, on the other hand, has a bit of a loophole in this movie that I, even the director, even called it a loophole, that he could have done a little bit better with. It was six months, and 
he's still this old lady that he um, took control of. Even though, like, in the beginning of the movie, he has to swap through person in person just to get to Carlton Drake's rocket. It was, like, just a major loophole that I'm glad the director even said it was a loophole that he just, yeah. Let's get into Anne. I didn't really like Anne in this movie until she became She-Venom. Now, that was cool. If you don't know who She-Venom is, She-Venom is actually Eddie's wife in the comics... Because she, when she's dying, Eddie gives her the symbiote, and then she becomes she Venom. I'm glad, I'm happy he did that, because I was, I was not actually expecting that, and that was a huge surprise for me. Anne wasn't the best character in this movie, though, to be honest. She a bit annoyed me a bit. She was kind of boring with the performance as well. I didn't really enjoy any of her performances at all. She didn't really show that much enthusiasm unless she's kind of the beginning when she's talking to Eddie and all that, because they were still dating at that point. But from that point on, it didn't really give a good performance, if you ask me. Um, and this is a famous actress, I'm telling you, and it doesn't give that good of a performance. I'm sorry, I just had to say it. This movie's great, if you ask me, but not the best. Let's get... I, I honestly did. Carlton Drake in this movie was not threatening at all. Riz Ahmed gave a good performance, but he didn't really feel that threatening, if you ask me. It's just, yeah. Seriously, that's all. It's just not threatening. And I was not surprised that he was going to get a symbiote because Carlton Drake's rocket, the little girl goes there. Because, yeah, after Ryan gets to the airport, he possesses a little girl. Did he kill the parents? Probably. But I would give Venom three stars out of five. Hope you guys enjoyed this extra review today. I've been meaning to get to this movie, so I hope you guys enjoyed. And remember, 